Hey guys, Zong here, back another math video. Uh, today we're going to be doing 1984 Amy, problem 13. Uh, practicing with some trigonometric manipulation. So, look at the problem and uh, see if you can solve it. Okay, so here's the solution. Um, first, you want to notice that tangent of cotangent of negative one of cer a certain quantity, let's say x, is equal to one over x. You'll need that. And uh, let's prove this. So let's say you have a triangle with side lengths a, b, and c, and you have theta. Uh, let's say that cotangent theta is equal to b over a, because that's what cotangent is, which means that cotangent negative 1 theta, oh, not theta, sorry, cotangent negative 1 b over a is just theta. Now if we take the tangent of cotangent negative 1 b over a, you get tangent theta. And tangent theta equals a over b. And I, uh, I bet you can see where we're going with this. Thus, tangent cotangent negative 1 of b over a equals a over b. So this quantity, if this is x, this is going to be 1 over x. So this is true. So how does that help us? OK, let's set some variables. Let's say a is cotangent negative 1, 3. b is cotangent negative 1, 7. c is cotangent negative 1, 13. d is cotangent negative 1, 21. Which means that if you take the tangent of all these, so tan a equals, if you take the tangent of this, if you take the tangent of a cotangent negative 1 of a quantity, then the tangent of that is just 1 over that quantity. Which means that this is just 1 third, because it's 1 over 3, based on the rule above. It's 1 over 7. 1 over 13 and tangent d is 1 over 21. So we have this. Uh, you might be asking, where the heck do we go next? Well, the problem is asking us to find 10 cotangent of a plus b plus c plus d. However, notice that cotangent of a plus b plus c plus d is actually equal to 1 over tangent a plus b plus c plus d. Because remember, tangent is just 1 over cotangent. It's just, it's just how it works. Tangent, some quantity, just 1 over cotangent. Then. So we should try to find out tangent a plus b plus c plus d. Notice that tangent, given uh, any, any value, a x plus y. Uh, you can use the formula t is equal to tangent x. Whoops, whoops. Tangent x plus tangent y over one minus tan x tan y. And we can actually use this to find the quantity of what this is. So let's try to do it in uh, pairs because we only have the formula for pairs, right? So uh, let's try to find tangent a plus b. Well, we know that tangent a is just one third, and tangent b is just one seventh. So this tangent a plus b would be one third plus one seventh over one minus one over twenty one, which is just uh, one half, I think. Now let's try to find tangent c plus d. And since we know we just do the same thing, that would just be one over thirteen plus one over twenty one over. 1 minus 1 over, what is the quantity? 273. Yeah, 273. Which is equal to 1 eighth. Okay, now we have tangent a plus b and tangent c plus d. Which means, let's just go over here. Tangent a plus b plus c plus d is equal to 1 half plus 1 eighth over 1 minus 1 over 16. 
which of course is just two thirds. Okay, we just found tangent A plus B plus C plus D. And we know that cotangent A plus B plus C plus D is just one over tangent A plus B plus C plus D as we did over here. So, cotangent A plus B plus C plus D is equal to one over two thirds, which is three halves. And we've done it. Well, not quite yet, because the, remember, be careful, the question asks for 10 times this quantity. So of course, 10 times 3 halves is just 15. That's what this quantity equals. Uh, hope you had a fun time, I guess. As much fun as you can have with math, I guess. And I'll see you next week. Make a line from A to F. Okay, so what does this tell us? Well, uh, I believe that uh, triangle A ADF is congruent to triangle BFD. So ADF, I usually don't write these down, but this is, uh, I think you'll need this info later, so I'll just write this down here. So ADF is uh, congruent to BFD, and why is that? Triangles. Um, well, first of all, uh, 